Hello everyone, I am Chef Juan from Cafe One here in Pflugerville. We will be making a cute elephant fondant sculpture. Make sure you wash your hands before you start. You will need items from around the house, but most of, most of the supplies are included in the kit. In, in the bag that you were provided, we have, you have a two and a half ounce grape fondant, a toothpick, wax paper for your table. This is the, pic, the elephant that we'll be making. We're gonna open up the fondant and we're gonna knead the fondant to ensure there's no dry spots. I'm gonna turn it into a ball. And out of this ball, I'm gonna get just enough to make the body. So this is the shape you're looking for to make the body. Now I'm gonna take some more and make a ball and I'm gonna divide it in half and I'm gonna make the legs. I like to make it into a ball first and then I stretch it out. Now one end will be slightly slightly thicker than the other end so this will be the part of the foot now you notice that some the fondant is kind of sticking to my fingers to avoid that you can use powdered sugar or you can use cornstarch as long as your parents permit it I'm gonna make a bowl again and then I'm gonna stretch it out and it's going to do the same thing. One end will be thicker than the other, so we can make the foot. I'm going to flatten the other side, the other end, so I can stick it. Now I'm going to get a piece enough to I can be able to make the arms. to the ball, then I'm going to divide it in half, and we're going to do the same thing, but this one's going to be slightly thinner and a little longer. So I like to measure to make sure that I am on the right area. Make the foot. glue it there and we'll do the same on the other side and we'll stretch it out a little more to make sure to ensure it looks good Put it together. Now the head. For the head part, I want to separate some for the ears. So I'll just take a little bit for the ears, not too much. And it's going to be about this size. I believe that should be big enough for both of the ears. Now we're going to make the head. Smooth it out, make it into a ball. And I'm going to take one end of the ball and I'm just going to stretch it out so I can make the trunk. And as I'm doing this, I rotate so I can try to allow the point to stretch by itself. Once I have the desired length, the end, I'll make it a little thick just to give it a trunk look and then the head I'll try to smooth it and then I'll glue it onto the head by itself and I'll place the head on top 
Now I'm going to divide the piece in half and I'll make the ears. Now to make the ears you can do it with your hand, with your fingers. You squeeze it, press it. It's going to be flat on one side. It's not too flat but you can stretch the ears as much as you want. So one end will be a little thicker, the other one will be th slightly thinner. And I'll glue the ear on one side. And we'll do it for the other side. Now with the toothpick, I'm going to add some lines to the trunk. And I'm going to add two little holes. And then for the feet, I will, on the legs, I'm going to add some wrinkles, some marks, same for the arms. And I'm going to try to mark the, the toes. Same for the arms. Now for the eyes, I'm going to use some pepper. So I'm just going to grind some pepper on the side. And what I'm looking for are for the bigger, the biggest um, dark pepper pieces. And I'll dip my toothpick in water so it can help me grab it. And then I'll place one on one side. And then I'll place the other one on the other side. And then you have your eyes. All done. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, you know where to find us. Cafe One by Chef One. This will be the elephant. And remember, don't get disappointed. It takes a little while sometimes. Um, it doesn't always come out good on the first time. So the great thing about funding is you can try and try again. Uh, but once you're done and you decide you're happy with, with your product, please take a picture and share it on our website. Okay, so I have a few notes to make sure that we go over first. One of the things that I wanted to put out and I forgot to put it on the, on the first place was always wash your hands before you work with any food items, especially if you're planning to eat it or planning for someone else to eat it. Now, um, in the directions that I have, I also say that you can utilize some water. Now the water, you can use it if you're having problems with the fondant sticking to itself. You can grab with the toothpick and you can wet it just so it can stick to itself. Or you can just dip a little bit if you're having problems grabbing the pepper. And with the wet end of the toothpick, you can pick up the pepper. It will help you so it won't stick to uh, and stay on the toothpick, but it will stick to the fondant. Again, I wanted to say thank you for um, in, thank you for being a part of this. 
and I hope you enjoy it. And please try to practice as much as possible. If you have any questions, I do have our business card over here. You can contact us uh, through email or you can call us phone. Um, and I will try to answer your questions the best as possible. The best way to reach me, it will be through email because um, all the time I'm pretty busy. So I will respond as fast, fast as I can. Um, do not uh, feel like I'm avoiding you or uh, it was taking me too long, but I will do my best to answer any questions. Thank you.